Can you take an aged smartphone and pull it into the modern day? Let's find out. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech, tech so honest it hurts. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Please consider stopping by again. Uh, if you're coming back again because you like to see my face, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So what do we got here today? We got the Motorola Atrix 4G. And we got something else that's kind of special. Now the Atrix 4G was a phone that came out in 2011 power buttons on top. The goal was to see if I could use this as my phone for at least a couple of days. And I failed, and I failed, and I failed, and I, fa I failed to be able to use this uh, in just about every way. This thing was running Android 2.3.4. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what is that Android primordial ooze. I don't know what that was. I was able to update it though to Android 2.3.6. Still the functionality, I was able to put a weather widget on here. So I know that it's 39 degrees in Iowa City right now. It was a cool idea, this, this Atrix. You know why it was a cool idea? It had an optional accessory, this guy. This is the Motorola lap dock. All right, so it opens up. Watch this. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Laptop loads up the phone. That's the phone there on the right side. And, uh, and then it's got a web browser. It's got Firefox. Not only Firefox, but a special version of Firefox modified to work on the laptop. It has other stuff on here like Facebook and it will load Facebook uh, very slowly it won't load really any web pages at all which is kind of a bummer couldn't really get YouTube to work it would go like frame by frame and like reload for every frame and uh, the moto apps web top web top I, uh, I don't even know what that means this is what you get when you try to go to Motorola's web top. So, not functional. Not functional at all. So taking a, taking a closer look at this web dock, lap dock, whatever you wanna call it, it is very well built. I mean, this is nice, solid, rubberized, uh, soft touch plastic. It's got speakers on the sides here. It's got a charging port. It's got USB 2.0. <laughs> which was, you know, another another speaker over here. The the top made of metal. The back made of metal. And it just like look at this. Look at how it opens. I mean, this is this is Apple like smoothness. There there are PC laptops that you can go out and spend a few hundred dollars on right now that are nowhere near as as well built as this guy. And yet, it is a relic of another time. I actually reviewed the Atrix and the Lap Dock back in 2011 when they first came out. Uh, I, had a, I had a little blog and I would sometimes write in it and it was kind of like this channel but in word form. But I did go to the AT&T store and I did somehow come away with one of these. You could buy them both together at the time for $500. $500 for a phone and a lap dock. My review was released on March 15th, 2011. Now, tomorrow is March 15th, 2018, so nearly seven years to the day. Here I am trying to run something on this, and I totally failed. I just ran into trouble everywhere. <sighs> it just shows you like how far we have really come in the smartphone game. And yet, this is still something that I thought was a great idea then, and I still think it's a great idea now. The Atrix 4G was trying to bridge the gap, and yeah, I know Samsung DeX and all that kind of stuff, that's, that's very cool, but it's not portable like this dude. We saw Project Linda from Razer earlier this year at CES. I really hope 
that Razor comes through with that. Razor, see this? Somebody did it. It's your turn. The key, the, the keys are very nice. It's well balanced. Nice trackpad, big trackpad for the day. So it does have, it does have right click and left click buttons. And it just, it's like butter. This might as well have been released in 1911, as opposed to 2011, in terms of how far behind it is where we are now. All in seven years. This was from a time when we were really pushing the boundaries, trying to find new ways that we could integrate technology into our lives. I ended up returning the Atrix 4G and the lap dock back in 2011 because they didn't work very well together. And uh, I'm hoping I can get my money back. This lap dock cost me $100. This cost me like $35. Um, I'm sure that this would work to me. I'm sure that the Atrix would work to make phone calls, but I don't talk on the phone. Removable back. SIM card. I think that's for it. I'm not sure if that's for SD cards or not. Uh, battery removable. This thing has what they call an app for a camcorder. Got Motorola Blur. We got Blockbuster Video. Ah. Uh, We've got YouTube, but YouTube app doesn't work. There was a problem with the network. Retry, retry, retry. So I'd like to thank Erica for putting this together. I'd like to thank Juan for inviting me to be a part of it. Uh, it's really been a lot of fun to look at this stuff and go back in time. But as an experiment in using an old phone in 2018, an absolute complete failure complete failure complete thank you so much for being here thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with me my name as i said is jason sometimes known as the jtl this is painfully honest tech tech's honest it hurts <laughs> until the next time i'm out